I'm good now. It's gonna be all right. Uh, Woo. Ow! <laughs> we, uh, I, we are, everyone here is, is so, so excited oh, that you're doing you. the program. I, I know you get embarrassed with that kind of praise. Well, I'm excited too. Oh, well, thank you. Uh, as you should be. Yeah. <laughs> Big show. <laughs> On very late at night. Uh, but you know, it's funny because I've always, I've always been a fan since day one. And you've always, uh, always done these amazing great bits on talk shows, yes. on late night talk shows. I mean, amazing bits that are just, they're in the museum of bits that a comedian can do. Classics, talk show. yeah. Classics, yeah, <laughs> okay. I mean, I remember when you did, uh, you, did uh, you went on Johnny Carson and you did Stand Up for Dogs. Extremely funny. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did, uh, on Letterman, you did uh, Steve's, uh, Steve and Dave's Gay Vacation. That was a great, <laughs> That was a great bit. I'm, uh, that's another, it was, that was a fantastic bit. Masterpiece. <laughs> and they're all, I mean, they're all so good. Well, I'll tell you, uh, it is, it's really fun to do those shows because, yeah. you know, they're, they're so funny. They're, they're comedy shows. Right. And, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, you, you go out and, and, you know, Dave creates an atmosphere of humor and you just feel so funny and you feel right. so much funnier. It's just, you just yeah. come to life. It's just right. so much when comedy. I did Carson, he had an amazing timing. You right. Know? And then, uh, of course, when I, when I think of your show, you know, I, I, I think of books. <laughs> and uh, when they ask me, you know, what, books. What, what show do you want to promote your book on? Yeah. I said, yeah. well, they said, do you want to do like a comedy show? I said, no. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I, I want to do a show that when I look at right, it, right. I think of books. Books. So, so I guess I'll just tell you a little bit about my book. About your, your book, uh, Shop, Shop Girl, right yeah, here. You see, yeah. when I wrote the book, <clears throat> I, wanted, I was very concerned about the point of view of the narrator. I didn't know if I wanted an omniscient narrator or a personal narrator. Now, the book was written in the past tense, and the past tense creates a paradox of the omniscient narrator. Because what you have is a situation, do you understand what I'm yeah, talking about? Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, and I, I, believe me, I in no way mean to be rude. I mean, I, I, I love the book. It's gotten a critical praise. Mm -hmm. Everyone loves the book. I just kind of thought that coming on this show, you'd plan a little something funny, you know? I just thought that you would, uh, would, uh, <laughs> would, you know. You thought. <laughs> yeah. You thought. I'm sorry I didn't get the memo on what Conan thought. Yeah, I, I'm <laughs> so sorry. I just kind of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, oh. what, 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 what's so funny? What's so oh, cracking just, you? I'm just thinking of something I'm going to do on The Letterman Show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. It's an instant classic. It's so funny. It's, anyway, it's really good. Huh? Yeah. Anyway, back to books. The <laughs> paradox of the omniscient narrator uh -huh. is actually. <laughs> hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Close, close the curtains, please. Oh, my God. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, a, what a mistake. Whoa, whoa, oh, wait a minute. Did see what, oh, that's, what was that all about? Oh, that's the bit I'm going to do on Letterman. They, they came to the wrong studio, the wrong time. It's almost funny, but so, oh my god! So that's—I mean—that looked pretty cool. Is that—that's no, that that's that's only the beginning of what I'm going to do on Letterman. That's just <laughs> nothing compared to what I'm going to do. So anyway, did you did you did you bring out? I mean, did you you didn't plan anything then? You oh just, no, actually, for this show? Yeah. Oh please. <laughs> absolutely, I'm very. Pleased. You did. You did yes, plan something. Absolutely, I'm very. Well, that's exciting. You planned something. Yeah. This is. I'm, I'm very pleased to introduce the literary critic of the Yale Graduate School of Serious Fiction. I enjoyed Mr. Martin's shop girl. It was witty, provocative, and urbane. An enjoyable read. That's gonna... That's gonna be fantastic on your highlight reel. 
it's going to be on the anniversary yeah. show. Anniversary show. All right, we're going to take a little break right now, I and then we we're should. we're going to really talk about some things here. We will, and not books. Oh. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Stick around. More with Steve Martin in a second.